Okay, the next part we're going to be working on is 210-6-53. It's this shaft support right here. Something we haven't seen before is this C-bore. And it says here that there's a diameter hole of 1.5 that goes all the way through. Then there's also a diameter of this 2-inch C-bore that goes half an inch deep. So a C-bore is basically a hole that has no bottom in it. Um, usually there's a hole that goes all the way through. That's a smaller diameter, so that means there's something that has a, a larger head on it that they want to fit down inside of there, but they want to, it to be flush with this or stay inside, be captured inside of there and there. So there's two of those in that in place of that. Okay, so um, we'll look at this and say that that's, a, that's right there, that radius is 1.62. The distance down from the center down to here is 3. Uh, the entire length is 7, to go up is 1.25, the entire depth that we're going to extrude it there is 3, and we're going to put that hole in um, back 1.5 from there. So when I draw this, I'm going to start by drawing a 3-inch line, uh, line here, 7-inch line here, go up 1.2, and then just draw an arbitrary line that goes back. Then I'll figure out where this radius fits in right here, and draw a line that goes from this tangent down to there to where they cross. Then I'm going to trim that out and extend it back. Okay, we'll go ahead and open up the AutoCAD. We're going to start by drawing a line. I might even use a polyline. Uh, I'll draw it so using the, the uh, UCSF with the front there. And I'll do a polyline. And I'm going to go down F8. So ortho's on, go down 3. I'm going to go this way, 7. Go up 1.12. And then come back this way, some arbitrary number. Then uh, we can go and draw an arc right here. Um, doesn't matter how that is positioned. I'm going to draw an arc. I might draw a line that goes over. Or no, actually what I'll do is I'll draw a circle with a center radius. And just draw it right here and go 1.62. And then I'm going to move it from this shift right click quadrant right there to that end point right there. So now I got my numbers right and I can draw a line that goes from shift right click quadrant right here. Oops, draw a line, shift right click quadrant is where I want to start and come down to here. All right, then I can trim and oops, right click and I'll trim that out and then these two little end pieces out. So then we're going back to this. I'll go to the home view and I extrude this back um, I don't have to extrude, I'll press pull it back this way, the three inches that it was, that thickness, okay? So now, um, we're ready to kind of put a, that counterbore in there, and that counterbore was, um, two inches with 1.5 all the way through. So it's easy to make the 1.5 all the way through, so I'll start with that, um, and do a circle that has a center diameter on this center point here. Shift right click. I'm going to make sure I get the center, so I'm going to click there and get the center and make the diameter 1.5. Extrude that so it goes all the way through. Oops, I don't know if I did that. Undo. I accidentally clicked too fast. Extrude this. Right click enter so it goes all the way through. And then I'm going to um, subtract from this this piece here. Alright, that's easy enough to do. Then I'll go ahead and do a circle with us on the same center point as that one. And that's a diameter of 2. And extrude that one back. That depth... I want to go that direction, 0.5 deep. All right, so I go 0.5. Then you have to subtract that again. So right click, subtract, and get rid of that. So you see that looks a little different. We can even change this here to conceptual. So you can see how it has a circle. There's a hole right goes all the way through, but there's a hole, a larger hole that has a bottom in it right there. So then we can go ahead and try. Nah, I don't like the way that looks. It's going to do that again anyway. So I'm going to go back to home because I can do it from here. Um, then what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and I'm going to turn my grid off. I don't like using it. I'll go ahead and draw a circle. Oops, i got to change my UCS to world, back to world because I'm drawing on this plane right here. And um, I can see better when I do this. I can see better. It doesn't mean you have to. Um, I'll put a circle on there that is 1.5. And then I'm going to move that that distance this way was 1.5 also extruded all the way through subtract from this this piece alright and then we'll go circle center diameter on the same center point 
the diameter is 2, extrude it so it goes down 0.5 and then subtract that. Okay, so now we're done that. We'll go ahead and click save and we're going to save that as 210. Dash six dash fifty three, and since you're using your new um, annotate, you should have your name uh, and your dimension right there if you're doing it this, the right way. So we're ready to just go ahead and move on, and go ahead and click base, and it should work out pretty good if we did it that way. Those are the views we want to have. Right click and enter. All right, so first thing we'll do is go and put in our center marks. Okay, when it does them a little short like that, you can just click on them, click one of the grips, and just drag it out a little bit farther so it goes out beyond that. Same same as here. We want it to cross over that line right there because that's where that hole goes through. All right, click this one. Do the same here. And I'm going to click that so it goes a little bit beyond. There we go. So you actually have a center line there that shows up the way it should. Okay, all right, now we're going to dimension this whole thing, and when you do this, um, we want, there's some things we want to make sure we capture, and we want to capture what the, the location of this hole is. Um, we want to capture the entire length of this part, so this is a good place to do this one. We want to capture what this radius is right here. We also want to um, know how tall this feature is right here, because that's where that feature is dominant, that part that extrudes out there. Um, it's dominant on that view. Now we'll go up here to the top view and we can go ahead and do this. We're going to click this, put this one on here like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. I'm going to arrow over and type the with the cap lock on type through. I'm going to come down here and let's see there is a there's not in this program. I forget that all the time. So we'll have to do this. Um, this way we'll go here and type uh, oh no this is what we want to do. We do want to put the diameter symbol in. Oops. Nope, I don't want to select any of that. I want to click on that, click diameter, so it puts that symbol in, 2.00, and we'll put the word Seabor. And usually it has the apostrophe in there. If it's not in, it's okay. Um, or the, type out the word counterbore, but there's also a symbol for it, but it doesn't come up in this program. So we'll just kind of skip it for now. How deep is the Seabor? We need to know that, 0 0.50 deep. And you can, oops, I misspelled, not an English teacher. And we'll go ahead and put two places. So the manufacturer knows that there's two places. So that's good for that. All right, see how that line right there crosses into that? I don't like the way that looks. It's not clear. So I'm going to move this over here and make it so it uh, can see it clearly. I might even move it down a little bit. So I'm going to shift right click and click none. So I get no... So that gets that out of the way. Now, we'll click dimension and put a dimension that goes from that end point to the center point right here. Um, so we get that, and we're going to go ahead and get the overall width on this part right here. And we also want to know how to locate it back in the X direction. So we'll click from there to there. Okay, so now that that's located, and um, we have everything on here that we need. Let's see, we've got how to locate this one. The from this corner up three inches, we know what that radius is. We know this is two places, so it's here and here. Seven long, that thickness. We can locate that hole. Um, we've got everything that we need, so we're ready to go ahead and um, click print. Go to the PDF file, but we do want to stick with the layout because the layout should be centered correctly. Now that didn't work out right for me, so I'm going to go ahead and click exit. I didn't like the way that looked, so let's try this. If I do click center the plot, what happens? That centers it correctly, um, 
and we will exit. Go ahead and plot that. And that's what you'd submit for a test.